I'm here with Kathleen Barfield, Miss South Miami, and Jessica Rumbuck, Miss Emerald Coast. Now you girls are just about to go on stage for swimwear. So what does it take for you to get your body where it needs to be to go on stage? Well, I really don't really work out. I run cross country and I'm in lots of sports, so that's my exercise right there. I'd say sports is definitely exercising. Jessica, what about you? Oh, uh, well, I'm an Irish dancer, so I take lots of dance classes at least three times a week, and then I also go to the gym whenever on my off days. Now, what about the whole idea of being up there? Is it about confidence or is it about having fun? It's m definitely about confidence, but mostly about having fun because if you're having fun, then your confidence definitely shows through more. So I have to ask, are you having fun? <laughs> I'm having lots and lots of fun. Yeah. Well, before you guys visit, go ahead, go on stage and good luck. Let's welcome to the stage contestant number one, Nikki Rodriguez, Rodriguez that is, representing Kendall. Yeah. Thank you, Tara Swims from Miami Garden. I'm here with Olivia, Mariana, and Sarah. They're represented all over the state. We have Lake Eola, Central Florida, Tampa, and of course, Juno Beach. Now, I gotta know, y'all look beautiful, but what goes into choosing a swimsuit? Definitely the color. You have to make sure that you get a color that really flatters your skin and pulls out your eyes. So why did you choose purple? I chose purple because my skin color makes me look tanner. It makes me look like I have abs. <laughs> you gotta have abs for swimsuit. And then how do you choose the style? Uh, actually, this was the first swimsuit I tried on and it was not only my favorite color, but I really like the style of it and my little brooch in the middle. So it was perfect. <laughs> there you go, you gotta go with your gut. <laughs> What is your go-to exercise to get you bikini ready? Okay, I always straight go to abs and then I run a mile and then I go do abs again and it's just something I work hard every single day to perform my best on stage. I can definitely tell it's paying off. Now you are 10 feet tall and beautiful. What kind of exercises do you have to do to keep long and lean? Mostly I just run on the treadmill. That's basically it. <laughs> I'm more of a like running type person than actually exercising type say. So what would be your biggest piece of advice for someone that maybe has never competed before? Start small with your exercises and build your way up until you've accomplished your goal of the weight or how you want to look. Would you agree with that, Intel? Yes, I agree with that. Um, you got to work really, really hard to be in this and just be yourself and work to be the best that you can be. I like that. Be yourself. Thanks, girls. Lee County, Arnie Roberts.
Miss Florida USA 2013, Michelle Aguirre. Now, Michelle, you were on this stage just months ago. Yes. What does it take to be on stage in a swimsuit and high heels? It, it just takes confidence. I mean, you have to trust your training and you had to work hard for a great body like I did. And you just have to have confidence and work it and have fun. That's all I have to say, have fun. Because I know I had fun, I had no nerves, I had the adrenaline and the excitement and that's what it takes. So would that be your biggest piece of, uh, piece of advice? Yes, yes, that would be it. Awesome. Marco Island is in the house with Sarah Wingo, contestant number 55. Drop It Chop is now just the way you want it and comes with a drink for only $4.99. Choose your favorite rice, pile on our fresh from the grill marinated chicken, then add toppings like corn, tomatoes, or our famous beans and salsas. Fresh from the grill taste for $4.99. From Pensacola to the Florida Keys, Miss Florida USA has a pageant for you. It's a great way to gain self-confidence. It's a great start towards my career. Working in my community has been very rewarding. I joined to have fun and now I'm Miss North Broward USA. The first step towards Miss Florida USA or Miss Florida Teen USA starts at MissFloridaUSA.com. I took the first step in Coral Gables and went all the way to Miss USA. I'm here with Miss Florida Teen USA 2012, Sydney Martinez. Now just one year ago, you were just like all these other contestants on the stage vying for the title. How does it feel to be back? It feels amazing. I remember that experience like it was yesterday. I know the girls are having a blast and it was one of the funniest experience of my life. Now, right now the swimsuit is just about to wrap up and we're going to get into evening wear. So as far as evening wear goes, what's your favorite thing about that part of the competition? Well, everyone loves the gowns, and of course, that's mostly everyone's favorite, but my favorite is how the girl is in the gown, because that's really what they're being judged on. They're judged on how they carry themselves and how confident they are in themselves, and I do love the gowns, but I love watching the girls walk in the gowns, because that's, you can really tell which girl loves their gown. And you were definitely a standout last year. Congratulations on the title, and good luck with the many things that are to come. Thank you.